A state trooper is arrested for his role in a fatal accident. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Sunny today, a high near 80. State Attorney General Michelle Henry filed charges on Monday against Pennsylvania State Trooper 35-year-old Michael Brown of Troy. In February, Brown, who was off duty, was on his way to work when he illegally crossed double yellow lines on Route 6. His Jeep collided with a car driven by 47-year-old Christine Woodward. Woodward, a 15-year teacher in the Troy Area School District, died at the scene. Few new additional details have been released regarding the disappearance of Cuban Little League coach Jose Perez. The Sun Gazette reports video surveillance shows Perez walking out of the Little League complex in South Williamsport onto Route 15, where he was picked up in a vehicle around 11 o'clock Saturday night. It's speculated he may be seeking to remain in the U.S. A customer is facing several citations for her alleged aggression toward McDonald's employees, like coming regional police report the Kogan Station woman allegedly threw a sport drink bottle at the drive through window of McDonald's on Lycoming Creek Road Sunday night. An off-duty sheriff's deputy observed the incident and contacted police. When officers stopped her, they found she had a suspended driver's license and no vehicle insurance. Police claim they found illegal drugs in the truck that rolled onto its side Saturday morning at the foot of the Route 973 Route 15 off-ramp. 44-year-old D'Angelo Colon of Michigan refused to answer any questions. That prompted police to execute a warrant where they found four bags of suspected methamphetamine in the cab of the truck. The Warrior Run School District unveiled its new $28 million elementary school in a ribbon-cutting ceremony yesterday. The three-story building will house grades K through 6. The first day of school in Warrior Run is Thursday, August 24th. The start of classes may be delayed at the Ashcar Elementary School in the East Lycoming School District. Officials announced mold has been detected. Superintendent Dr. Mark Stom told the Sun Gazette Ashcar will be reopened once the remediation is complete. It's property owners one, local government zero. The State College Borough Council has rescinded its decision to exercise eminent domain on several downtown properties after a backlash from the community. The initial eminent domain resolution would have closed long-standing businesses and replaced them with a parking garage. Are you a creative person with ideas and dreams to make the community better? Then the First Community Partnership Foundation wants you. They've launched a program named Spark Tank and are looking for people with ideas on advancing or promoting racial equity in Lycoming County. More information can be found at fcfpartnership.org. And Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman lost a bet with his son over a chess game and has transformed his look. Fetterman debuted his new look over the weekend in which he has replaced his signature goatee with a mustache. Social media quickly picked up that his new look is a strong resemblance to Walter White, Brian Cranston's meth-cooking character on the Breaking Bad series. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.